So when you see the terrible towel, what do you think? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Now, if you were to ask me that, it would be Ivy. <laughs> she was always so happy. She loved people, she loved talking, she loved going places. She just, she loved the attention. She got really, really sick in 2020, going into January. Um, my mom came over one day and she said, why is she shaking? A couple days later, it, it got a lot more noticeable. She had a constant tremor from the shoulders up. She was constantly shaking, her eyes were moving back and forth. A couple days after that, turned into like a whole body tremor. Um, she got to the point where she could no longer walk, make eye contact with us, she couldn't focus on us. She started to not be able to like put words together. So I took her to her pediatrician and in his words, he said, I've never seen anything like this before. I need to send you somewhere else for more testing. They ran every test they could possibly think of and we were there for three days and told us nothing. There's nothing, we don't see anything, we got nothing. They wanted to do a follow-up scan in March. So my husband took off work, went with us. It was a quick thing, we came back. Um, as soon as we got back, that's when they called and said, we found a mass, we need you to come back. March 31st of 2021, Ivy was diagnosed officially with stage two neuroblastoma and OMS. When we asked her what OMS was, she wrote it out. It's Opsoclonus Myoclonus Syndrome and it was a neurological disorder caused by her tumor, which was taking her ability to walk and talk and causing the constant tremor. She told us for somebody to have OMS and neuroblastoma, it is, it's, it's not common at all. She got um, five rounds of plasmapheresis to treat the OMS, which went through the catheter as they took the plasma out of her body cleaned it, cleared it, and put it back in. That was really hard to watch, being six months pregnant, being in the hospital for the first time, just finding out she has cancer. So it was, it was rough. Because she was young, you know, do you try to explain to her what's happening in her world that is now upside down? We would try to explain to her that what they're doing is gonna make her feel better. But radiation took a lot out of her. I'm sure the nurses, the doctors, like you they said, knew. they knew, oh, Ivy's here, we see the terrible towel. My oldest brother, when Ivy was diagnosed, <laughs> made it a point to, that was the first thing he sent her. And let her know that she, she can get through anything. And told her, take it with you everywhere you go. And that's what it did. It lived in her hospital bag. It went with her everywhere she went. Every chemo admission, it went to all transplants that she went through. They left it next to her on the table as she was put to sleep through every round of radiation. It went to every hospital stay, every blood draw, every oncologist check, everything. It went everywhere with her. And she knew that once the doctor told her that, you know, hey, you're good, you're done, she knew. We're done, let's wave the towel, let's go. <laughs> Always the same one. You can tell it's been loved on. How did Terry Bradshaw find <laughs> out about Ivy? We walked in one day and she has a pink Steelers shirt that says Steelers girl across the front of it. She went back and the recovery nurse came out and she said, I have someone that wants to meet y'all and they're going to be up here at the end of the week. The end of the week just so happened to be her last day of radiation where she rang the bell and everything. And she said, Terry Bradshaw is gonna come and wants to visit with y'all. And I said, no way. And so we set it all up. They closed down a little room for her and him to go into and he came and he brought her a jersey, signed it, and now it hangs above her bed in her bedroom. <laughs> I, I touch base with them all the time. They touch base with us and they are fantastic people. To celebrate our women of steel, we welcome two-time Super Bowl champion and Steelers legend, Brett Kiesel. Tom Beard has 
a surprise for Ivy. A trip for two to Super Bowl 58. On behalf of the Pittsburgh Steelers, thank you, Miss Ivy Holmes, for being a brave black and gold fan. That's pretty cool. Tiny Hulk Strong. Look, and roll it out. And you roll it up? And then what do you do? Yay, I did it. Welcome to the football game. <laughs> <laughs> Just how crazy is it that this fandom that your mom shared with you became almost this like <laughs> rallying cry with a symbol of something that means so much it to is, people. It is something, you know. Out of all eight of my mother's kids, I was the only one that took to the Steelers. It is incredible that something I grew up loving has made its way into her journey and it holds a whole different meaning. I play. You wanna go play? Yeah, with mommy. Yeah? <laughs>